Hi guys, um, it's five in the morning. I'm in Beverly Hills right now and I'm about to get my lip lift. I will show you guys the before and after healing process and all of that. So this is my before. I just wanted to get a video so we don't forget what I look like. Um, yeah, this is them tiny. So hopefully we're gonna get Side profile, love. I'm in the car and it's really swollen, but I love how it's already so short in distance. And my side profile. I've always wanted it to be shorter, so I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be really cute. He also like flipped the sides up too. I guess to make it match, which is awesome. So this is literally me off the table. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Distance, which I love. Yeah, it hurts. So I guess I'm gonna take some and then I'm probably gonna knock back out. I look like little Miss Piggy right now and I'm in a lot of pain. I just woke up from a nap. I'm gonna drown myself. Fuck 
Oxies. This is for the pain. I think I'm gonna take one. Cause I was sleeping and I literally woke up out of my nap because of the pain. So take one. My mouth twice a day for two days. I think this is the one I just said. Oh fuck. Tablets on day one. Damn. Decrease by one tablet a day. This is insane. Six more. This is very difficult. I feel like I'm drowning myself. I don't want to take any more. Find the tapes. This one is literally right here. This is horrible. Alright, I have two more. Start dosing one to two days prior to your procedure or taking one capsule twice a day. For a dermal filler injection, you can start taking the capsule on the day of the injection. I'm just gonna make like grilled cheese because I just had so many pills that I should probably eat something so I don't throw up. And then I'm gonna probably end up going back to sleep because I took oxy. So yeah.
I thought I was gonna have so much trouble trying to eat this. But it works. Oh my god, thank goodness. Hi guys, it's still day one. I feel really nauseous. I mean, I've taken a lot of medication today. I just don't really feel good, but I wanted to clean it up before I went to sleep because it looks a little like nasty. But yeah, I feel nauseous. But anyways, here's the instructions. Wet the gauze with warm water and tap off any dry blood from your incision. Argentine silver. I don't even know what this is, but yeah. Spray it and let it dry. Mm. Okay, and then we have this. I have to put it on there. It's already so short. And that's exactly what I always wanted. Obviously it looks wild right now, but. I'm really excited. Okay, it's quite dry, so I'm just putting it on the Q-tip and I'm gonna put it on here in case. Honestly, this is all so numb, I don't even feel this. Now it's clean and moisturized. the end of day one. This is what it looks like after you try and eat anything. It's all over your face. 
It looks disgusting. It cuts in your stitches. And yeah, so now I need to clean it. Hey guys, it's day four. I'm back at the office and we are gonna be removing the sutures. And hopefully I can move my mouth a little bit more. of my sutures finally i'm so excited it is still numb and i cannot feel anything from like between here and here but i can feel all of this so slowly but surely but it's definitely looking cute it has like um cream and whatnot so but this is what it's looking like I think she's cute for sure. Hey guys, it's like day 11 or 12 and it's looking so cute. I'm like really, really happy with it. It's so cute. I literally love it. And it's only been like 12 days. It's gonna look so cute. Like the scars are healing really well. I'm using this right now. So yeah. Hey guys, so this is week two and a half. And I have makeup on obviously, but you can barely even see the scar and these are my natural lips just like lip lift because we took out all the fillers i did three um sessions to remove the fillers i even took some out of my bottom lip because i felt like it was um, migrated down here but i'm really liking it honestly i think it looks really cute and natural I just wanted to add one more clip just to talk about how each and every day just gets better and better and it does take a full three months to completely heal so I am still a little bit animated um, and my top lip isn't fully functional yet um, nor does it have complete feeling but um, literally each and every day it does get better and better and like more natural looking so I am excited for like that mark to hit. The procedure did cost $10,000, but it was fully worth it. And the reason why I decided to go with him and not somebody else was just because I had already seen his work and I knew that's who I wanted to do it with, especially because it was my face. And it's literally only been a couple weeks and like it looks so good. Like I can actually go outside and not feel like you know crazy yeah i was definitely gonna go to someone else for less i think four thousand seven hundred dollars and i literally canceled the appointment i put a deposit and everything but i was like there's a reason why he's charging so much like um and i just didn't want to like mess around with my face and like it not come out correct so yeah but I am really satisfied. I do really like it. I'm also going to be doing laser on the scars to take them away. Even though the ones on the sides, like literally you can't even see those ones barely. But for this little red one, um, I am gonna do laser on it for sure. But literally for the most part, I'm really enjoying it and I really like it a lot. I just want my lip to you know, flatten out still, which we have time. It's still very early. And I just want the scar to be very faint. But other than that, I'm really loving it. 
think it's so cute and down the line in three months i am able to add fillers again if i wanted to which i don't think i'm going to um but yeah if i did want to i do have to wait three months when i'm fully healed but yeah this is her and we like her a lot Hey guys, um, it's been a month and a half and I didn't think I was going to add an extra video clip but I'm just adding this one just to say like, um, you know, it doesn't really matter like if you want to get surgery, get surgery, it doesn't matter what people think or like what anybody says. I literally did this for myself, I don't care if anybody doesn't like it, like I literally did it for me. Not that anybody has said anything because nobody even knows, except for my family and like a couple friends, um, but they all love it. It's just like, obviously I know when I post it, it's going to be um, some hate comments and like whatever. And I'm, I'm already prepared. Like I don't care. I get it all the time. But if you feel like you can't do something because of others, I just feel like get it for you. If you want to get it, get it. Um, so I just wanted to say that and also you are going to notice that my top lip still isn't that functional. Like yes I can move it and stuff now and like do some facial expressions but I still can't grip a straw. Like I have to suck out of the side right now still. But yeah I just wanted to bring that up because I know once I start posting videos people are gonna be like wow like your face isn't even moving like okay bitch i just got surgery like what the fuck is up i just got fucking surgery that's why it's not moving so yeah to say that and to say do whatever you want to do this is your life honey so yeah everybody have a good day bye